I thought we <clears throat> we really approached the game with the right level of urgency, and as a result, we were able to get on the front foot pretty early. Um, and uh, I thought we played tonight at a at the appropriate tempo, and because we did, we were able to create some chances and and uh, have pretty good control of the game. Um, you know, Austin is. I think Austin's a good team. I don't care what their record is and and how they've been. I think they're a good team. They're really well coached. And uh, for us to come out with the right mentality, I thought was really good. And as a result, as I said, we're able to establish uh, pretty good control of the game. All right, we'll go to questions. We'll start with Matt Pollard, last word on soccer. Hi, Robin. Thanks for the time. Congrats on the win. Um, Nicholas Mosquito with a start uh, was buzzing around in the first half and the second half with the pressing. That obviously leads to the goal just a couple seconds into the second half. Your thoughts on his performance and what he was asked to do in the system, given um, how much you guys were trying to attack Austin as they were building out of the back. Thank you. Uh, I thought Nico was really, really good tonight. His energy was fantastic. Um, his ability to take care of the ball uh, in tight spaces, I think, was excellent. His work rate defensively was excellent. Uh, and he gave us a lot going forward. And I was really happy for him uh, that he was able to get that goal. And uh, if you look at the way the goal came about, and I haven't seen it, <clears throat> the pressure by the front group was really good. Uh, Cole's decision of when to go and pressure there was excellent. and. Uh, Nico's in the right place at the right time, and it was a really fantastic finish by him. Go to Brian Jennings, Burgundy Wave. Hey, Robin. Uh, yeah, thanks as well tonight. Thank you. Good to see a smile on your face. Smile, um, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, the way Austin was going to come into this, you know, you could tell with their five guys in the back. I mean. Those, att those attacking channels for you guys was going to were going to be pretty tight. I know. Um, what, what was kind of the the key or, or or needed to build up to break through that eventually? Which I thought you did, and you really kept it on him through that second half. Thank you. I really think the the urgency with which we attacked was important. <clears throat> um, we've played against a lot of teams now who play us in a back five, and we have had a tough time breaking them down. And I thought the pace at which we played was better uh, than it had been in some of the games, or some of the draws over the last couple of games. Um, and it's it's tough. They're well organized. Uh, they get into good spaces. They they take away some of the things that are available if they're not playing in a back five. And they they made it difficult. Um, but I was really proud of how because we talked over the last couple of days about being more urgent in the moments where we have a little opening. And I thought that the guys did a really good job of that tonight. <clears throat> we'll go to Chase Howell, Denver Post. Hi, Robin. Thanks for your time. Um, how do you think this game can help the team's confidence going forward? Uh, well, I think we've had four ties in a row prior to this. <laughs> So to to get a win and get back uh, that that winning feeling and feel like you've really spent yourselves and you've played at the appropriate pace and you've pushed yourselves and to do all that and to get a win, I think it um, it can only strengthen the team's confidence and 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 self belief. Go back to Matt. Robin Cole with a start tonight, and I know you mentioned, you know, his contributions on Nico's goal, you know, asked to do a few different things. Your thoughts on his performance. Thank you. I thought Cole was very good. Uh, we've talked a lot about in tight spaces, knowing your options or being able to protect the ball and losing the ball in the middle of the build out is not uh, something that we're we're wanting to do. And I thought his ability to keep the ball tonight was excellent. His work rate and his decisions when and how to pressure I thought were also excellent. 
Uh, overall, I thought he had a really good night. Back to Brian. Robin, this one uh, maybe a little bit out of left field, but um, how how ideal was it? You know, I think being able being able to not only work in that player rotation, you know, with a midweek game, but also get a lot of guys, you know, some work in their legs and some minutes. Um, you know, I know the win was first and foremost, get those three points, but kind of how ideal in, in your eyes or from the staff size was it to be able to do some of those other things too, but also, Hey, you put multiple goals in too. I mean, that's not been done for a while. Yeah. I, you know, the idea of rotating players <clears throat> at the end of the day, this is a, this is going to be a rough next four weeks of games for us. We have a lot of games coming up. And as we have subbed a good deal in the last, I don't know, five or six games, uh, we have a lot of confidence in the whole group. And though we make changes, it's not like we're, you know, resting the better guys and playing the lesser guys. We have a lot of really good players. And when we make changes, it's really ultimately to have everyone be healthy at the end and give us the the best possible or the best possible opportunity to have selections at the end of the year while still gaining points. And we have so much confidence in our roster top to bottom that when we do quote unquote rotate the way we do, um, today it looked a little bit different from the beginning, but if you look at how much we've substituted over the last five or six games, six or seven games, uh, we just have a lot of belief in the whole group, and it's it's exciting to know that we can make changes and our game still looks the same. Uh, at times we make changes and we, we increase our tempo. So that sort of competition within training uh, is only making us better, and what we're seeing uh, on the weekend is the result of that, the fact that we can make changes and either keep the tempo going or pick the tempo up. Go back to Chase. We talk a lot about Jack's leadership off the pitch, but can you put into words how important he is in his role on the pitch? Another great performance with two assists tonight. Yeah, it's and everyone looks at the assists, which are fantastic, and his set piece delivery is is literally second to none in my opinion. But the things that you don't talk about are the unselfish moments where he runs to cover a defender or runs through the line beyond the defenders because it's just what has to be done. Or the times he will take the ball in very difficult places with lots of people around him, and because of his awareness, he's able to find the right pass to not only get us out of that, but to actually start an attack. Uh, there's so much to his game that makes him uh, an excellent player, and I'm glad he gets a recognition for the set piece delivery because he doesn't really get the recognition for everything else that he does really, really well. Go ahead, Chase, with the follow up. Um, I have to ask because William Yarbrough just set the club record for most clean sheets in a season. Obviously, clean sheets is more of a team stat, but um, do you think he should be discussed as one of the top goalkeepers in MLS? Uh, in my opinion, undoubtedly. And it's a similar, my response would be similar to my response about Jack, meaning everyone is now talking about Will because of the number of shutouts. And you're right, it's very much about a team mentality and a team mindset and the team working really hard. And certainly Will is, when he's been called upon, has made saves that he needs to make. And Tonight came off the line and dealt with a lot of things. But what you guys don't know is the person, the person that he is, and the leader that he is, and the character that he is in the locker room, and how important he is to this team, aside from the zeros that we see on the scoreboard. Uh, there's so much more to him and what he gives this team than just what you see in terms of making saves, getting shutouts, that sort of thing. He's, um, he's a, a top-class person and a top-class goalkeeper. All right, we're up there. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Can you just talk about Will's toughness to take that hit and stay in the game and just keep competing throughout the rest of the minutes? 
You know, a lot of that goes back to what I just said, which is there's so much more to Will than just his ability to make saves. Uh, his leadership, um, what he does for the team organizationally, what he does for the team in the locker room. And when you see him go through that, that sort of contact and shake it off and get through the game, it's, it's toughness, yes, but it's, it's more of a mental toughness and a mental fortitude that is only another thing that makes him who he is and how valuable he is to us.